Hi, I'm Jilly G. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to make peach pie bars. And I've done this dessert before with blueberries, but today I wanted to show you peaches just to highlight whatever fresh fruit is in season. So first up is the crust. And in here I've got a half a stick of butter. I'm gonna soften it a little bit more in the microwave. So now that our butter is mostly melted, I have a tablespoon of honey. We'll just put this in here. And I have a fork today. I'm just gonna mix around this butter and honey. Help cool off the butter a little bit. You could use a whisk if you want to. Next up, I'm gonna add in a cup and a quarter so one cup and a quarter of my gluten-free flour, everything room temperature. And all this needs is a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and this little measuring spoon is a quarter of a teaspoon in there and just mix this around. And once this is mostly combined, I have one egg here, also room temperature. Get rid of our mess and just pour this in and just mix the egg till it's all mixed in. I have about a cup of toasted chopped pecans. And just mix these all in. You want it all nice and mixed in. Switch to a spatula so you can scrape your bowl. And once you've got this all mixed together, I have a glass eight by eight baking pan here, ungreased because this has so much butter. Just dump all this in and just flatten it out. Get it all in a nice even layer and then start building up your edges. Try to get it as even as possible, even thickness around the sides and on the bottom. This recipe is so easily doubled into a 9 by 13. And if you like a thinner crust, you could use just this, this amount for a 9 by 13. And it would be a really thin crust. And of course, you wouldn't build up the sides as much. And you don't have to put nuts in this either. So once you're happy with that, take your fork. And I'm just going to dock some holes in it here. Once your crust is all docked, we're going to put this in the oven. It's preheated to 400 and we'll go about 10 to 12 minutes until it's golden brown. So our crust looks nice and golden brown. And you want it to be pretty firm. So we'll just let this cool off for about an hour or so. And then I'll show you the, the rest of the ingredients that go in the middle of it. Once your crust is cool enough to handle, still just barely warm on the bottom, I have one package of cream cheese here and we're just gonna use half of it to spread on this crust. And it's really soft. I've had it sitting on top of my stove. So just take half of this very carefully. Save this for later. And then just spread this out in an even layer. And once you've got that all spread out into an even layer, just set this aside. We're not ready for it yet. And I have white peaches here and they're really, they're ripe. They're not overly ripe, but just ripe. You could peel these if you want to, but I like the skins on. And I need one cup that will mash for the topping and then probably two to three cups uh, just cut up into this bowl. And so we'll just get these cut up bite-sized pieces. If you have any that are a little smashed or bruised, these ones are perfect for the one cup that we're gonna mash, because they're just gonna be mashed anyways. And just keep going. peach and my one cup measuring cup if really squished it down in there and kind of overfilled it so we make sure that we get one cup of mashed and then I've got loosely 
packed in here four cups we may or may not use them all let me clean up a little bit and then i'll bring you in closer to the stove and show you how we make the topping and this other cream cheese here just plop it into another bowl we're going to use this for the topping that goes on the topping after it's all cooled off add your one cup of peaches to your saucepan and just mash these till they're mostly mashed it's okay if there's a little bit of chunks in there To this, add a half a cup of honey, and I'm gonna turn my heat on to about medium. Three tablespoons of cornstarch. Half a cup of water. And cook this stirring constantly until it thickens and boils. Now that this is starting to boil, and you can see how thick it's gotten, We'll boil and stir for one minute. Turn your heat off and move this over here off of the heat. We'll just let that cool down for just a minute. So with our crust and our other peaches, you could put some lemon juice on these so they don't turn brown, but it's okay. So just sprinkle these in here. That's about two cups so far. I'm gonna spread them out, see how much more we'll need. And I kind of press them down into that cream cheese layer. You want every, every bite to have a lot of peaches. And once you're happy with how many you've got in there, you use most of the four cups. Bring back your topping, and it is still really hot and that's fine. Give it a good stir and start pouring this on. Spread this out. And we'll let this cool off till it's about room temperature and then put it in the fridge. And then once it's set, we can cut it. But while that's cooling, I'll show you the whipped topping that I make. So in this bowl, I have about one cup or so of heavy whipping cream, about a teaspoon or so, generous teaspoon. Of vanilla and then our cream cheese that I put in about a tablespoon of honey so we're gonna whip this till it's just about stiff peaks and then mix this and then mix it together once that is to soft peaks set that aside and bring over our cream cheese and honey and just mix this till it's really smooth scrape down your bowl and then just go a little bit at a time into the whipped cream. Once you've got this as thick as you want it, I'm just gonna kind of fold it the rest of the way. And if it's too thick, you can always add a little bit more heavy cream, but this will last a really long time in the fridge and the, the cream cheese makes it a little bit more stable. And you can see how full this is. We won't be adding the topping on there, just piece by piece. So I'll wrap this up, put it in the fridge, wait for this to cool off, put it in the fridge, and then I'll show you what it looks like after it's cooled off. So my peach dessert has been cooling for about three or four hours in the fridge. Overnight's usually best, but it's really well set. And let's cut into it. First piece is never very pretty. You can see the crust, the cream cheese, and the peaches. Looks pretty good. Some of our whipped topping here. I've mentioned before that this whipped topping, I, I make the most for my desserts. As you can see, there's no room to really put it on top, but you wouldn't want to anyways. Let's give this a try. That is the perfect summer dessert. It's really good. And I've also mentioned before, you can do this with any kind of fruit that you like. These were white peaches. Yellow peaches are really good. Uh, I've got a recipe for the blueberry one. Uh, you can watch that video. I'll put a link to that somewhere. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.